In 20 years' time, I'd like better transport links into the Rhone Peninsula. I'd like to see no pollution. I'd like um, a Rhone Peninsula with more renewable energy. I'd like um, this to remain the forgotten corner because that's what makes it so beautiful and appealing to locals, but it would also be nice for more opportunities for local businesses. A dynamic, sustainable community with strong, small businesses at the forefront of it all. And sustainable housing. Affordable housing so that we can retain our young people and all their skills. Additional housing, especially for local needs, social housing. A really good secondary school which offers high quality education. The opportunity for better housing for, for, for people within our community. Affordable housing for my children and um, better links to uh, local schools for the children. With our growing community, um, I think there may be enough of us to um, have a secondary school in our area. I'd like to see Mount Edgecombe intact, all open for the public to visit. I would like a swimming pool. <laughs> and I really, really want a roller disco. Rain is such a beautiful area. In 20 years' time, I'd like to think that it had kept its beauty, but at the same time that it encouraged development of both businesses and sustainable energy wherever it could without spoiling the heritage of this wonderful area. In 20 years' time, I'd like to see on the Rain Peninsula a vibrant community network of villages working together and growth of employment, education and jobs. I'd like to uh, see more housing. I don't know whether that would be uh, by reducing the wasted and empty houses or by building uh, new houses. I would like to see development be sensitive to keep the area rural and not to spoil uh, the landscape. I'd like to see the uh, environment kept largely as it is because we all love it. An increase in tourism because that is something that brings money into the economy. Good environment for our people, uh, better housing, uh, more affordable housing and more jobs. So what is a neighbourhood plan? Well a neighbourhood plan is a land use document. It can set out policies however described, which really help to shape a model of development within an area. In the Rain Peninsula, the five parish councils are coming together to do their neighbourhood plan. There have been a lot of consultation events throughout the last few years and lots of really, really good feedback from the community. And one thing that is coming through throughout all the events that have been held through across the five parishes is that they want to see the area be sustainable with local housing, with local jobs and a vibrant local community. In the neighbourhood plan, once it gets um, through the referendum, it becomes statute and the planners must take notice of what it says so it's the only way that we as locals are able to actually have a say in where anything is built and what is built and when it's built. It's probably the most democratic thing we've had for a long time in order to get the voices of local people heard. It gives us the opportunity to plan for our future. Local people should have their say always, not leave it to the powers that be. The neighbourhood plan is absolutely vital to maintain what we have. It sets out achievable goals, it sets out our vision for the future and it gives people the opportunity to let um, government know what we actually need in this particular area of South East Cornwall.